okay, I'm going to come for you. And you open your sweet mouth to charge them, and guess what? You're going to be making coins. Real coins. God will not help you. We're not scared into the international market. You're going to be making dollar <laughs> bomb. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited. Like this video has been on my chest and now I am unbudgeting it. <laughs> Thank you guys for stopping by. If you are new here, my name is Timmy Banjo, the pretty one. Anyways, if you are not new here, welcome. Thank you for stopping by once again. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please, I need to eat. Please click on the subscribe button just somewhere down below and subscribe to my youtube channel i mean our family is growing don't you want to be part of our success story from the topic of this video you should be able to decipher what i'm about to talk about or what i'm about to say and if you have anything to share like if i trigger you or you you can relate like if it's you know hit some spots let me know i mean mention them in the description box down below without further ado let's get right into this video um, let me just tell you, you might be hearing some scree scree scra cra cra in the video because there's a construction going on close to my house and also my neighbor's dog likes to bark a lot so you might be hearing the dog bark at some point in time I'm going to start by using my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk to prime my eyelids for my eyeshadow I'm going to use the Smack Eyeshadow Palette this is what it looks like. It's like a neutral eyeshadow palette. I'm going to start with this very brown shade here. This one here. In my outer corner. So, today's topic. From the description of my video. Or the title. You might already guess what I'm about to say. So these days, people do not really like to market or like to um i'm sorry please english is not my first language or whatever <laughs> okay people like to people don't like to associate or like the word associates or they just don't like to do business with micro influencers or something i don't know but i'll give you scenarios there was this time i used to use a particular brand like i was always using it not because i wanted them to maybe you know partner with me or give me any kind of work to do or something but i liked their palettes and i always use it i'm always using it i was always using it almost every time I use this brown shade here this one in the middle here to um, blend the outer part of the dark one so i was always using their eyeshadow palette almost every time and uh, nothing like they don't repost they never reposted they hardly they don't even reply or anything nothing nothing and so on this faithful day i made a good look like that look was freaking good and guess what it went viral really really viral but i didn't tag them not I didn't do it on purpose but then it happens I didn't tag them because maybe I was just tired of tagging them I don't know so I didn't tag them and guess what that picture boom went viral and guess what they came into my DM asking me oh is this our what eyeshadow palette like what look like what eyeshadow palette did you use something saying that you I'm like so you have been seeing all the ones I've been, I've been, I've, oh my god. So you have been seeing, you have been seeing all the ones I've been tagging you and mentioning you and helloing you and hi you and you have been snubbing me, you have been coughing me. Why? Why? So let me just try and quickly finish up this eyeshadow look. I'm going to use this brown here in the middle as the color of my eyelid. And I'm going to continue with this other brown here. This one. I'm going to go in with this very bright color here.
So for the inner part of my eye, close to my like my inner tear duct, I'm going to use the lightest shade here. Okay, I'm done done with my eyeshadow look. I'm moving to my face now and I'm going to use the True Complexion Primer from Black Radiance. Okay, as I was saying, uh, where did I stop? Anyways, my, my story. This company or this brand like slid into my DM asking me, Oh, is this our palette? Oh! looks nice i'm guessing they wanted to repost it they wanted to i'm not sure because they had to be sure if not they are going to rubbish their brand by reposting something that isn't theirs and <laughs> the temi in me the real temi in me was thinking should i ignore them or let me just for the sake of this um let's peace reign i just answered them and i'm oh yes it's easy your palette guess what they reposted my picture they reposted they tagged me they used me to do advert on their page like they had something they were doing they put my picture there like so that you see oh the viral picture is how palette she used <laughs> you understand and I was like oh my god what you people don't do not recognize like good work honestly is it until an intervention happens before you recognize that oh this is good or this is something that is what what I mean recognizing does it make sense I'll tell you another story about my a friend of mine who is also a makeup artist my friend got um some what's it called some eye um just eye products, like eyeshadow, eye products, or eyeliner, all those things. And the owner of the brand in Nigeria, well, just to be clear, most of the brands I'm talking about are Nigerian brands. I'm moving to my foundation now, and I'm using the Black Opal. Um, I'm using the Black Opal True Color Foundation Stick in the shade Carol. I'm in the shade Carol. My friend used their. Um, their eye products and the most of the time they don't repost um, people's work I don't know why I don't know maybe it's just me I noticed that but most of the time I don't even get a repost when I use their products so my friend also does it but this particular day her picture also went viral the same scenario her picture went viral and they all all they all wanted to know what eyeshadow they use and she's like look you people I don't even know if she replied them or whatever but I don't know it's just so funny so imagine micro influencers like us I mean she is really big imagine micro influencers like us and I mean micro influencers because we are still struggling to have an audience like a large audience not like I don't have an audience, I do have an audience, like a really, really faithful and loyal audience and I appreciate them every single time, like they are the bluest. Why don't they ever repost? I'm not trying to say reposting like validation or anything, but it's just like a recognition. I used your product, oh it looks nice and everything, everybody confirms it looks nice. Just try and recognize me or something. I know some people might think differently or so, but that's like the point or like the tick on our hard work as a creator or as a makeup artist or whichever you get i mean there was this company this company on instagram I, it's not um it's not a this company isn't a brand this company is not a makeup brand rather they sell makeup products and so they contacted a person who does makeup for them for her to use like i'll send you some products i wish i could like put the actual screenshot of what i got i wish i could put it here so that you see that it's really wild they contacted this person and said oh please we'd like you to use our product wait i'll read it out got it hello beautiful i love your content and talent would you be interested in me sending over a pr package then once received 
to one video tutorial using our products and two posts and two posts using them we offer you lots of exposure apart from the PR package am I going to use exposure to buy food am I going to use exposure to parents am I, like, am I going to save my exposure at the bank and she replied hello thank you dash dash for being interested in my work but unfortunately I will charge you because it's a lot of editing like a whole lot of work because it's a lot of editing etc are you still interested I can send you my rates if not I completely understand and this company replied your work isn't worth that much you will only be getting a PR package and exposure as payments that's enough for you the fact that they can't pay her is not what is even triggering me is the is like the ending part the, the the last part of this conversation like you will be you be getting a prayer package and exposure as payment so they already assume in their head that um, PR package is equivalent to payment don't they realize that people actually do this thing for a living you can't be doing free work even if you are going to do free work it should be on terms that are very understandable but not when you have mouths to feed you have bills to pay and all that it's not acceptable and then she ended it by saying that's enough for you meaning I know what so they ended by saying that's enough for you meaning they know what you are worth they know what they can oh my god i'm paid and then she replied by saying you know what have a beautiful have a beautiful have a beautiful day and god bless goodbye fam I'm going to continue this look with my Zaron, Zaron Concealer in the shade AZ15 Deep. I'm going to continue my highlights with my Tarte Tarte Concealer under my eye also. Let me continue my story. So these days it's so hard to get jobs or to get any job at all as a micro influencer. The, you will notice that companies like makeup brands they rather give their products to celebrities for them to use and advertise and everything. Cool, yeah. She has a lot of followers, she has a lot of audience to cover and all that. But what kind of audience do they have? Do you ever consider that? That is like a main topic companies should consider or a main factor companies should consider like what kind of following do they have? Do they have and um, do they actually have an audience for us as a brand or are they going to market it in the best and possible way? Like you have they have to show how to use these products, how to manage them and so on and so forth. And then they come to makeup artists makeup brands and everything uh, sorry makeup enthusiasts like us and they are hoping to get um free content so i'm going to go ahead and use my s pawn powder to set my highlighted areas that's why some influencers end up being broke like you may not want to believe it some influencers are broke you might think oh they are getting enough enough uh, um enough they're getting a lot of PR, they're always, you know, producing and making and making content with different brands, different products and all that. Meanwhile, they don't get paid. How else are they going to get money? I've said my own. I've said my own. If you're out there doing free PR or free content, every single time they want something to be done for free, they'll always come to you. The moment you step your foot down and you want to mention your price, guess what? They are gone. I'm using my powder, my elegant powder 
in shade cocoa to set my contour so if you are thinking oh i don't want to be rude i don't want to be like the girl that likes money or i don't want to no don't like money yeah I don't want to be like the person who likes money, who is always charging for content and all that. Or you're excited that they're giving you products, you're having jitters. Let me tell you something. If you are true to yourself and you are consistent and persistent with your work and you are always improving, your audience will grow and people will always target you because of your audience. That's the fact. So if you are consistent, like you are true to... I know you people are hearing that construction, bang, bang, bang. I'm so sorry. If you are true, to, what was I saying? If you are true to yourself, like you know what you are doing, you know your eggs, you know your your yourself, and you know that in so 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 time, you will grow your audience. People, you are going to be a hot cake. Oh my god, you are actually going to be hot cake. No, sooner or later. So don't get excited that they are giving you. PR and uh, you just have to do the free content for them um, later on when I blow when I become bigger you know I will charge the, when you even want to start charging yourself you will be confused or, or, or about how to fix your rates and how to make sure you make money because the more the period where you were meant to have grown with your charges and all that you didn't do anything you were busy doing free promotion free. no nothing is free even in free town it is my zara powder in shade zz 45 to set the rest of my face so i'm about to go into my eyelashes now and i'm so confused because these two eyelashes are freaking they are from this beauty and they are so full let me give you a closer i'm going to give you a closer look this is flamingo and the band is quite thin i'm sure this is going to sit pretty well on your eyes and this is turaco this is turaco the band is um transparent i love transparent bands so i think i'm going to go with this one I'm going to highlight my face now and I'm using this golden eyeshadow from Zaron. Said I'm going to explain PR and when you should have or when you should make a content for a company or a brand. When they give you a PR, it means probably you're on their PR list or they like your content and they just want to see you use their product or use their brand. But when a company or a brand requests that you um, make a content for them, most especially specifying what color, what shade, or how to use it, or to highlight some particular uses with the um, product. That is content creation. You are meant to charge for that because that's a lot of work. But if it's um, PR, at your own term, on your own basis, you will use that product. And if you want or if you don't want, you are going to highlight the product or... Um, you just specify that oh i'm using so 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 from so that's it. So, yeah that's just the difference between the two of them so once you know the difference and i will or i would like to tell you or i would like to inform you to know how to fix your rate and have a parameter for fixing your rate you cannot just see a company and you charge them this to charge them that you have to be at least consider it some companies are just starting especially here in nigeria it's a little bit tough i mean the economy is trying to you know <laughs> i don't say anything it's a little bit tough here especially for startup brands here so you have to be considerate meanwhile so yeah there are some companies that come to you and say oh we're just starting up blah 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 please take our product and use to create content some will say at will or whatever and we don't have a budget for influencers right away but once you have um, a budget for that we will contact you and obviously pay you and you know to work for us sometimes it's true for you to look you need to like look at the company that approaches you and like try and weigh 
like do your research so you have to also be considerate and once you look at that kind of balance and if your heart tells you me i'll say if your heart because it's based on my heart anyway if my heart tells me oh you can just do it they're just starting up and all that sure why not i can but it's not as if i've seen you do p um pay other influencers to make content for you or i know you can afford to pay for content and you're approaching me to do free content for you based on my research based on what i know ex except you are fronting a false image i don't know i don't think i'll do that for you so i'm going to be using a fire fire combo this is david spencer in the shade 23 this is mac lipstick in the shade velvet teddy it's a nude lipstick this is velvet teddy and i'm going to be using um jordana lipstick or lip stain in this in the state the yoruba and me jumped out in the shade molten chocolate cake So if you are out there wondering, so what will I be doing if I'm not going to be collecting PR from a brand, making free content, you'll be working on yourself. Continue with the products you have. Continue making content. Be true to yourself. And continue building your audience, most importantly, because your audience is what will attract brands and companies to you. That's what they're after anyways. So continue doing that. And before you know it, you blow honestly you just you just need like two to three viral videos or photos of you and you 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 will be surprised at how big your following will be i would have shared a story about a company a brand i will mention the kind of brand it is obviously i have been mentioning tagging in my story mention them tag them use their products mention tag them everything everything and most of the time you hear, mm, it's not about your following, it's about your content, make sure your content is, is good, make sure your content is crisp, make sure it is this is that. <laughs> I worked on it, yes, my content is good, crisp and everything. And I will send them a mail. So I sent them a mail because they say if companies don't come to you, go to them. Obviously, and you're looking for jobs, so you need to reach out to them. I sent a mail, I got curved, I got ignored, but that aside so right now I'm just patiently waiting I honestly because I know myself I am very dedicated I'm very hardworking and once I put my mind to something I'm going to achieve it that's it I know and I'm patiently waiting for the period or for the time that I will use their products and I will go viral like by God's grace and I my mention or I might tag or not tag them in my heart mode. I'm, honestly, I don't do it on purpose. A lot of things run through my mind when I'm posting. So, am I mention or not? I might tag them or not tag them. I'm just waiting for that day that we use that their product and I will go viral and something will happen and they will have to reach out to me. I know the Timmy me will not come out, but I'll be holding it back. I won't want to say. You cannot remember that day they sent it in. I'll just be like, mm, see God do. See God. <laughs> so this is about this look. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed my video. Anyways, if there's any other thing you want me to talk about, if it's makeup, hair, I don't know, anything lifestyle that you want me to film or you like to see, please make sure you mention them in the description box down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, I beg of you, I need it to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's just a click and it's free. Come on. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.